So, <laughs> so we're going to have you instead. OK? Sorry, guys. <laughs> so uh, for, I'm, gonna, I'm always, when I'm doing the code stuff, I'm going to start from scratch. Because basically, I have a, uh, an, an empty folder here. Uh, to Let's show this see. here. Uh, and I'm going to add a, a new file, app.w. And the, la the first uh, code I'm going to write is bring cloud. You had me to .w. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, man. <laughs> so bring cloud is the way we import. I'm, 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 there's a lot of repetition here because a lot of people that are watching it are watching for the, for, the, for the first time. And when I say a lot of the people that are watching, I'm not sure how many people are watching. But uh, that, That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're introducing the, the API gateway. Which again, we're going to show you how this works on a local host, and then we can actually show you how it works on, on the cloud. So I'm going to do cool. let API, sorry, it's kind of weird here, new cloud API. And the API gateway has this pre flight API, which basically allows me to set up um, routes. Yep. So I'm going to, we, we got get, let's see what we have here actually. We got uh, get, uh, patch, post, put, basically all the kind of crud stuff. So I'm going to do get, and I'm going to do flash, and then I'm going to have an in-flight method. Tell, tell us a little bit about in-flight method while we write the code. So basically, as you said before, we have pre-flight, which is basically our infrastructure definitions, and then we have our in-flight code, which is like our distributed computing primitive that allows us to write code that then executes uh, at a later stage on different machines, um, the thing that uh, is special about our in-flights is that they can interact with uh, pre-flight, uh, with resources that were defined in, in pre-flight and with data that is defined in pre-flight. So basically, our compiler captures everything that is needed uh, from, from the pre-flight scope that runs actually on a different machine at a different time, and then it uh, brings it into the in-flight uh, scope, which runs on other machines when uh, the application actually runs. And actually, if you capture, let's say, a resource like a bucket, yeah. in Wing, like you write, you, you instantiate a, an abstract bucket, basically, okay. in the pre-flight. And then in the in-flight, we have uh, the dependency injection mechanism right. that injects the right... Uh, um, the right cloud implementation. Concrete bucket, yeah. yeah, exactly. So it could be an AWS bucket, S3 bucket, it could be a cloud bucket, it could yeah. be, on the local host, it could be just a folder, right? Or even on the cloud, it can be Google Drive, it right. can be Dropbox, it could right. be whatever right. satisfies right. the interface. Right, right, makes sense, makes sense. Cool. So this is what I've done so far. I said api.get when we're going, let me close this thing, this is not helpful. api.get when we, uh, when someone get the slash, uh, we uh, invoke this in-flight method. Uh, we, we don't do it. The cloud is going to invoke this in-flight method. And uh, we have a request, and the, and the response is, and let's just do a return, hello world. Let's do return, uh, cloud.api response. And we're going to do status 200, and uh, body, hello, wingly, wingly 08. Uh, like this, great. And now, uh, here on the bottom, we're gonna go wing it, or wing run. Wing or wing run basically goes and instantiate our console, uh, which, is, which basically runs our local wing, kind of local cloud simulator. And we're gonna see this uh, here live. And it's, it's kind of neat, let me just uh, zoom in a little bit here, and uh, zoom out a little bit. So what we're seeing, we have uh, the root uh, container, and then we get the default container, which will be removed soon. And then we got the cloud API, and on the on the right side here we got the interaction. Let me get this a little bit bigger, uh, get this a little bit smaller. And now I can go over here and do a get on this thing, and send this. And I'm expecting to see hello Wingly as the response. Wow! I can do this, and I can also go over here, copy this, go to my uh, favorite browser, uh, and uh, hit this and see hello Wingly. All right. So kind of uh, we have an API gateway, very easy. And this, the, the, the technology behind the scenes for this localhost, I think it's Express. I'm assuming it's Express. Do you know it's Express? <laughs> Does anyone know? I'm assuming it's Node and Express. I don't know. But uh, it might be. I mean, it's, it's definitely it's, Node. It's definitely Node, right. Uh, and uh, I can go back to the code. And I can do another uh, API dot post. Let's see, post. And Actually, let's... we can see 
later if we want we can see the generated code and then right. we can find out. Yeah, we can do this. We can actually do this. Let's, let's do, maybe we'll do this. So we go item uh, and we give it uh, an ID. I'm going to create an, a specific item. Just going to be lazy and copy paste all of this thing here. Yeah. There's no reason not to be lazy. Uh, and I'm, I've added a post command, doesn't do anything. So let's just take that ID. So I'm going to go take, grab it from the request. Uh, so we have uh, let valve uh, equal request dot valve. The valve right now is an optional. I think it's an, it's an optional map. I think it's a mistake. I think it needs to be just a map. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to, if it, if it's, if it doesn't exist, it's going to be existing. I'm going to just create a map of str and uh like this uh chris if you're watching is this <laughs> should this be an optional i think that the body is an optional but i think that the value shouldn't be an optional uh and i now, agree with you for yeah. what it's worth okay that, that i need i need chris to agree with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's yeah. what it's yeah. not worth a lot yeah yeah we need we we both need chris to agree uh, then we got this thing, and then instead of allowing lead all right, let's um, let's say hello uh, ID, and let's string interpolate the ID, and we're doing a post command. I'm not I'm not going to do anything. Uh, what we are seeing here is uh, we had soup uh, leaving for a second. We have we have uh, kind of uh, route variables here, so I can grab that route variable by the by by its name, and basically show it here. Uh, okay, so let's see this here. I saved this, so now I have. To uh, endpoint here, get the post, and I can do uh, a YAL, and I can send this, and I'm gonna get hello ID YAL. Make sense? Yeah, love it. So this is a uh, this is cloud API. Yeah, thank you for. Uh, I mean, I'm just a presenter here, but uh, <laughs> who did it? Actually, there was this. This is an interesting resource because it was done the the cloud the cloud one was done by a community member, I think, and then the sim one was done by kind of uh, kind of a Monada team member, right? Is that correct? I think so. Um, yeah. Awesome. So I'm just a messenger, and I can also do here. Oh, this is interesting. Actually, hey, Hassan did this. I can also do this wing compile. Oh no no. I got a mistake. My minus t uh, tf aws and give us this file, and this will compile this. This will compile this to, uh, to I did, aws. Yeah, to aws. And if we go over here and look at the at the uh, ts aws, we can see the that eventually what we're creating is an API gateway. Uh, so we get the API gate the API deployment. And we're going to see this in a couple of minutes, I think. Uh, here is the API gateway. And this is basically a Terraform file. And I yep. can Terraform apply and Terraform deploy this. But this is basically an API gateway. Yep. Very, very simple. On the local host, it's kind and of an express you thing. You can see the, the similar tar target. Yeah. OK. So I'm going here. I'm closing this one. I'm going to app.wsim. And I'm going to the wing. And I can see the actual code here. Uh, probably, it's probably going to be somewhere around here. Uh, it's going to be hard for me to find it, but uh, do you know where I'm going to find it? Uh, Preflight.js? Where is it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, great. So we have uh, a lot of code, Cloud API, Infla. Oh, it's not going to be here. It's going to be in the, it's yes. going to be in the SDK. So we're not going to see the express yeah. implementation. We can go and look for it, but it's not going to be here. It's, it's basically referencing the SDK. See, it's importing the SDK. Awesome.